This week on the Ink 12, we're taking a look at Diamine Cherry Sunburst. This is one of Diamine's new Gibson Les Paul guitar inks, based off of five of the colors from the rather infamous Gibson Les Paul. For this review, I used my Carolina Pen Company Charleston model in the primary manipulation uh, acrylic done by Jonathan Brooks. This particular Charleston features a broad nib with the Carolina Pen Company logo stamped onto the nib or engraved one of the two. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of this ink before doing the writing sample. This is actually my second or third converter with this ink. So it's gotten quite a bit of use. And I must say, I'm quite impressed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the written sample that was done earlier. So you can see how the ink sets in on a paper like Tomoe River paper. Once again, using our Endless Works Tomoe River paper notebook from Penn Chalet. Let's go ahead and take a look at some stills here. As you can see, this ink has quite a bit of shading. And yes, I know on Tomoe River paper, you're gonna get shading no matter what. And yes, it does have a slow dry time on TR, but the dry time on Rodeo wasn't that much quicker. Now, you can really see, like on the swab, it's not much of a shaded ink. Even coming out of the nib, it's got some shading, but not an overabundance of shading. Where you really start seeing the color differentiation is here in the drops. You can go from a real dark burnt brown to a nice orangish red, which is which is nice. Let's talk about that color though. So looking at the swabs here, we've got three different swabs we're gonna look at. The first one is the Diamine Cherry Sunburst. Now, I had to check my color correction multiple times to make sure I wasn't seeing things, but this does look like the swab. And for me, when I hear the word cherry, I think more like what I see here on the Colorverse Mars Curiosity. A nice red, a little vibrant, not too vibrant, but definitely red. Cherry Sunburst reminds me more of Tasha Cha than anything else because it's got so much brown to it. That being said though, the Cherry Sunburst guitar does actually look more like the Swab. So credit to Diamine for at least getting that part correct. So let's go ahead and take a look at the water sample here. This quote from Les Paul was written on this number 16 Rodia dot pad about three days before doing the water test. That way it had time to dry and set in. I know not every water test is gonna be like that where your paper gets wet days after putting something down, but I wanna see what happens when we actually give the ink a fair chance at setting in. So we're going to apply a rather generous amount of water using our bulb syringe here. And then once we've got enough standing water to ruin the next three pages in the pad behind the writing sample, let's go ahead and grab a Q-tip and apply some pressure to see how much of the ink we can get to release from the paper itself. And you can already see the orange color pulling off the page. With a lot of inks, that's to be expected. And doing this water test, seeing that much color releasing, I was actually interested to see whether or not any ink would be left on the paper. You can see right here, the second we put the paper towel down, all of the color essentially just lifts right off the page. Go ahead and pat that down for a second. And then give it a couple wipe downs to make sure we got everything off. And let's go ahead and take a look at the before and after of the writing sample. So before you've got your good shading, nice orange, a little bit of red. And after the water sample, you can still see some of that color on the page as well as a gray ghost image. 
So where does that put my final thoughts on Diamine Cherry Sunburst? I'm going to be upfront. I'm not normally a big fan of red or orange inks or brown inks for that matter. But this one is actually a good ink that's going to stay around in my collection. I like the color. I like the water resistance and I love the flow from this ink. Diamine actually has some really good flowing inks that you should check out. I think the guitar inks are really cool and a great concept. So head on over to Penchelet and take a look at these inks. You can see here, 30 mil for 750 is an insanely good price. And the big brother for that 30 mil bottle is an 80 mil bottle for only $15. And on top of that, if you click on that radio podcast link at the top of the page here and then enter Inkdwell in the How You Heard About Us section, you can get a further 10% off of that, as well as getting free shipping on any orders over $50. So it kind of makes that a no-brainer for at least giving this ink a try. So if you guys liked this review, definitely click that like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. Either way, though, support the channel by subscribing or head on over to patreon.com slash the inkdwell and follow the channel on Twitter and Instagram at the inkdwell. That's going to be it for this week. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.